All right, guys. Here's what I've gotten done so far. I got my board and everything. There's actually three different boards. I actually um, got kind of did the mill work and everything on. Got them connected together on the back side. But got everything secured down so far. Um, got my 1500 watt uh, inverter, and I got me my uh, positive and negative bus bars. Of course, there's my fuse that I'll put in there. I got me a little 12 volt uh, fuse block. And then down here, this is this is what I got. I just got it on here, but I'll take it back off because I gotta connect the wires up underneath. But that's my battery disconnect. So right there turns the power on, and then right there, of course, got off. That way I can disconnect the power going through the bus bars and everything else and then right here this is the breaker that's going to be coming from the solar panels so if I want to be able to disconnect from there which this is in the off position so it'll kill power going to the my little uh, MPPT solar uh, controller and that was the uh, we'll say a 60 amp one and then to protect the battery uh, being overcharged, I've got this little breaker here. So with everything going on, so I get battery power coming in on this. It'll come up to right here. And then from here, I'll get my cable and everything made going into my supply, my the inverter. But I'll have this little uh, amp, you know, the fuse. And everything it's, it's a little focus there there you go 200 amp 32 volt so that'll work so I'll have that in between protecting everything there and of course I've seen some people they actually will run um, a fuse in between bus bar and here I'm going why do that because you got fuses all right in here that's going to protect that but like I said, I've got this breaker here, which it'll, you know, when it pops out and everything, it'll pop up like that, just reset. And like I said, I kill the power coming in from the solar panels up to that. So I'll get this mounted. Like I said, I got wire coming in tomorrow um, that'll connect basically everything else except for my main power, which I've got already which is some um, uh, I think 4 gauge I think it's some 4 gauge wire and then I'll have of course be hooking that getting this mounted on the wall out there in the garage and getting that uh, lithium battery hooked up to it and we'll be getting all those little 12 volt lights even hooked in and it won't be that much longer than be having power out there in the garage anyways leave me a comment Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, hit that bell. Later guys.